Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is a tutorial for a smoky silver eye. Um, hope you like it. Um, it's really glamorous, perfect for a night out or any special occasion. So um, stay tuned if you want to see this look and please rate, subscribe and comment as I would really appreciate it. Okay, bye! Okay guys, to get this look, um, go in with your um, any shimmery eyeshadow. The one I'm using is from Elizabeth Arden in the colour Moonbeam and it's kind of a white shimmery colour. So I'm just applying that to the inner tear duct and to the brow bone. So I just apply a good amount and I already have this done so. And then I want to go into the crease with a matte grey colour and it's not too dark, it's just a medium colour and this is from Fuchsia Cosmetics, um, an Irish company. Um, the number 12, oop, and the number 12 um, is called Dawn. So I'm just going to apply this in my crease. Apply a good amount on the brush. So just into the crease. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, it can be messy as it wants. And then I'm just going to blend it out with a bigger fluffier brush to remove any harsh lines. So just up and down motions. And round. And then apply more of this to get a really intense look. Back in with your infinity brush. Okay, so make sure that grey colour is nicely blended. Like so. And we'll go back at the end and add a bit more of this grey colour in. And... Then I'm just going to go in with this colour, it's number 17, um, Wild Metallic Eyes in the colour Wild Silver. And I just apply this to the eyelid, it's a cream eyeshadow. I really really like this now, it's very reasonable for what it is, I think it's like 5 euro. So I just apply this on the eyelid, or just get a little bit with a flat brush, and I just apply this all over the eyelid. And then I apply some on the lower lash line. And apply it quite low as well. Like so. Then what I want to do is I want to go in with my NYX pencil um, in the colour Black Bean. It's a black kind of big jumbo pencil and I just want to apply this in an outer V colour. So I'm just going to roughly apply some on the outer edge. And make it into a V shape and this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay so apply that colour in a V. Like so, and it doesn't have to be real clean edge, because we'll fix it up at the end. So, it's very rough look, and as you can see, so I'm just going to go in with a flat brush, um, a W7 flat brush, a oh, flat brush, and I'm just going to blend out the black. So, I'm going to pull the eye a little bit, and just blend it. Sure, you kind of work in the V. I'm just pushing it forward. Like so. 
and then you're going to add some black eyeshadow over that with your um, infinity brush so I'm just using a black essence colour you can see there's a black and white I'm just using this black colour okay so with a good amount of that black colour just tap it on to where you applied the eyeliner and the colour will come out a really intense dark black. So just applying it over, watch it done. And then I'm going to go in with my fluffy brush, my blending brush um, from Crown. I'm just going to soften this now so it's not as harsh looking. So pull back the skin and do up and down motions, round and round. And just blend it. And to help you get that V shape, um, if you go in with a concealer brush, like so, um, and just go underneath what you've done, so it's really sharp, like that. And then, um, with the silver cream eyeshadow from that we used on the lid, you want to mattify that with a silver colour. So I'm just using another one from Essence. Um, I'm just using this silver colour. And with a flat brush, I'm just going to apply that over the cream eyeshadow to keep it in place all day. And this will help out, help blend the black and the silver colour. So just going over that. Really packing on the colour and then adding it onto the lower lash line. Like so. And then you want to go back in with black bean black bean the um jumble eyeliner. So you want to apply that on the lower lash line. Like so. And then you just want to tap it off the above lash line so that makes your eyelashes look darker and then it gives the illusion that they're more full. So I just kind of tap it. These eyeliners are really good, they're real creamy. So I just do it like that. Just tapping it in. And then I go in with an angled brush. And into the black eyeshadow that that we used before from Essence. And I just put some of this under the lash line. To make the colour really intense. So apply that under the lash line. That will give it a really smoky eye look. Okay, so next I want to line my upper eyelashes and um, because I'm going to be adding big eyelashes. So what I usually use is the Catrice um, liquid liner and um, it's waterproof and it's called Don't Leave Me. So I just apply a thin line onto the upper eyelashes. Nothing fancy. Kind of tap on that. Sorry if you can't see. And next, you want to curl your eyelashes. So I'm using an Infinity um, eyelash curler. And this makes all the difference, it really opens up your eyes when you have your eyelashes curled. So just curling them, count to ten on your head. And then you just want to curl the top of them as well. And then you want to apply mascara, which you all know how to do. 
and I just apply my favourite mascara from Essence, I Love Extreme. So apply that and add your fake eyelashes and we'll be back. Okay guys, so that's my eyelashes and my mascara added. So I just, um, for the rest of the face, I bronzed up with um, MAC Skin Finish Natural in the colour Dark. I think it's the darkest one you can get it. So I just applied this to my cheekbones. To below my cheekbones. To a little bit of my forehead and my neck area. And then for my cheeks, um, for blush I used MAC Fashion Frenzy, which is one of my favourite blushes. Um, I just went in with a big fluffy brush from Infinity and I just applied a little bit of this onto the apples of my cheeks and for a highlight I went in with Elizabeth Arden Moonbeam and I just applied this above my cheeks and a little bit on my nose and above my cupid's bow so that's really it um, thanks for watching. Oh, and for my lips, I just have a nude lip gloss on. It's from Aldi's. Um, I don't actually have it here. But, um, yeah, so this is the finished look. Um, thanks for watching me, and please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned for the next videos. Love yous all. Bye.